Hello Juniors and welcome to another week of tech. For this week, you're actually going to be taking the ideas that you submitted once I approve them on Learn at UW and you're actually going to be going in to create your very first piece of your infographic um, diagram. So what you're going to do is you're going to take that fact that you came up with and you're going to numerically represent that in a graph. Um, you can use different items to represent um, the percentages and the numbers that you have and just make sure that you're communicating with me so you have the approval to go ahead and move on with the project because you're going to be continuing this project throughout the final uh, couple lessons here for the rest of the semester. All right, that's it that we have for today and have a wonderful day. Hey Juniors, um, so just a couple of reminders before we get to what you will be doing this week. Uh, your first reminder is for you guys to send me your school ACT scores, your student report. I need those as soon as possible. If you already got them and you just haven't sent them to me, make sure that you do. Um, Chris will be contact you. Chris will be contacting you or your parents in order to get that information in. So make sure that you are sending me those scores before Chris um, starts contacting you guys. Uh, another thing is the ACT registration is coming up. The deadline to sign up for the ACT for June 11th is May 6th. So that's coming up real fast. So if you have not signed up for the ACT on June 6th, you should be doing that this week. After May 5th, kidding, after May 6th, you will have to pay extra money and um, do a lot more work to sign up for the June 11th ACT. So make sure you sign up before that date. Also, make sure that you guys uh, finish up ACT prep. As a reminder, the class will close permanently on May 13th. So make sure that you are getting all your work in. Remember that you need a 70 percent in order to pass the course. So keeping that in mind, make sure that you turn in all of your assignments, do all of the quizzes and turn them in. As of now, all of your assignments are that you haven't submitted yet are late. So make sure that you turn all of them in because you will need all of the points in order to get that 70% to pass. All right, now for this week, we are doing cover letters. We're in week three. So week one and week two was about resumes. And for those of you who have turned in your resume, your first draft, you will be getting feedback from either Chris Lupton or myself on your resume. So make sure that um, you are checking your emails and whatever form you ask to um, get feedback, make sure that you're checking that because we will be sending you feedback very soon. So for week three, we're in cover letters. And this week, you will be watching a video, an intro video on cover letters. So we're just going to tell you why cover letters are good, uh, what they're used for, and um, all that good stuff. Then afterwards, you have a panel video to watch. And it's just the panel telling you their experience on cover letters and why they um, like them. Um, after that, you have an assignment. And the assignment this week is broken up into two parts. Part one is the one that you will be doing this week. Part two, you will be doing next week. Um, so make sure that you are following all the instructions. The handout is very important and not only summarizes what the video was about, but also it gives you a lot more information on what the assignment is. So make sure you're taking a look at that. And then open up the assignment document and make sure you're filling in all those parts too. After that, you're going to submit your assignments, and we're going to take a look at it and give you feedback on it. And uh, then you're going to revise it, and then for week two, you will make those um, adjustments and then submit the second part. And then after that, you only have a discussion to write, and then you will be done for week three. So that is all. Uh, make sure that you're sending me your scores and that you're signing up for the ACT test. That's really important. The sooner you sign up, the better. So let me know if you're having issues with that or anything else uh, can be of help. Let me know. Okay, bye.